Everybody, ooh, the green screen is kind of kind of a hot mess right now. Let me let me shut that off. Wow. Okay, hold on one second. All right, hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cyber. I'll get my green screen situated later on, but right now we are going to have an absolutely awesome show for you today. So if you stumbled into this or you don't quite remember what we're doing today, we are going to be doing a live cyber threat simulation using a platform called ThreatGen. And what we're basically going to do is we have an AI that is controlling the blue team, the SOC analysts, all the, the defensive security controls are, are handled by AI. And we have in our company uh, an OSCP certified all around great guy and uh, very, very professional pen tester, John Helmus, who I'm going to bring in in a minute. And we're going to be pitting him man against machine and see if we can take down this oil and gas refinery. Okay, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let me bring in our guests because we, we, we really thought through how we were going to do this show and I wanted to bring, uh, I just wanted to bring the A game. So first we're going to bring in Clint, okay? Here, oh, hold on, this isn't right, Clint. So this is Clint <laughs> Bow Dungeon, okay? Clint is the lead developer for ThreatGen, the entire platform that we're going to be using today. He's also, um, you know, this is your own bio, Clint, but I, I love pumping uh, your tires because you do so much for the community. He's also a co-author for Hacking Exposed Industrial Control Systems. So he didn't just write uh, a, a, a simulation of it, uh, in a gas and oil refinery cyber simulation. He fully understands what that environment looks like, both from the defensive side and from the offensive side. So, Clint, thanks for joining us today and being on this journey as we as we walk through this simulation. Cool. Thanks. Glad to be here. Absolutely. So let's bring in our contender, our who's representing the human uh, the human population in this uh, competition today. Uh, we're you know John Helmus. I gave him the intro already. Uh, professional pen tester, uh, well educated, does a lot for the community. Uh, John, thanks for uh, being here today and representing the humankind. Happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So. Uh, just for the audience, uh, as we go through, um, Clint has uh, offered to provide context around the application and give his thoughts and perspective. John and I will be uh, w working through the actual simulation with John really driving and me just being his um, you know, beautiful assistant helping uh, along the way. Uh, I'll be driving as well. So uh, let's First of all, let me bring in the actual application so we can see what we're dealing with here. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments, uh, clarifications or anything like that, uh, and I'll get to them and I'll, I'll bring them in. And, and if you have questions for Clint about the application or about the, the system, throw those up there. Clint will answer them. If you've got questions about pen testing, uh, throw them up there and John. I do want to tease that ThreatGen and Clint have been very generous and they've given us some licenses to this application, right? So this is a piece, this is a gaming software, right? And it, it requires licenses. They've donated some and we're going to be raffling them off 
throughout the event. Uh, so if you're interested in this game, you can pick it up on Steam. But if you're one of the lucky ones, you might actually get a license today during the live stream. So stay tuned to that. All right. Are we ready, gentlemen, to, to boogie in here? Clint, anything you want to say before we get started? No, I'm just I'll keep my mouth shut through most of this, except for when you guys want some commentary. It's kind of behind the scenes thing, right? You get the director commentary. So but no, I'll just let you guys go and, and let me know where you want me to chime in. All right, here we can go. I, so, can I have the answers to the test? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, so I will give you the one. I will give you one answer. It is designed to simulate best practices on the blue side. That's your only hint. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. So this is, this is where we start in the application. We're going to go do single player. Now, just so you know, multiplayer, both, um, both people in the multiplayer will need the application, right? It's not a, right? Isn't that accurate, Clint? Yeah. Yep. So so we'll be doing single player today. So let's go in here. We're definitely playing as the red team, one John Helmus uh, representing. Okay, so here we go. Here's the setup for the story. We're, so a company not too far away, red and blue team remain locked in a constant struggle. This is just laying out what you would expect um, a simulation like this. Now, since we're going to be the red team and we did the blue team before, let's read about what our actual mission is. We're going to perform reconnaissance on the blue team, probe for weaknesses, and find a way in. Once inside, move around a little bit, identify. And the ultimate prize, so John, this is what I guess the, the, uh, the flag is for you, the ICS system. Okay. And this, if you read this, people, if you're familiar with the cyber kill chain, I mean, this is really kind of mapping directly to that cyber kill chain. Uh, doing recon, getting in there, weaponizing, and then dropping dropping your payloads. So, John, you could win by damaging the ICS process before the blue team eliminates all of the system vulnerabilities or having the highest score. Okay? You, you understand the, uh, the objectives, John? Yes, sir. All right. Let's boogie. Okay. Before you get started, a couple things. We can hit a question mark for, uh, for help. And there's a wiki. This is good. So even if you aren't um, a seasoned professional, you can use this application in a fun way to to like professionally develop yourself and learn techniques and concepts. So that's really nice. Uh, good job on that, Clint. Thank uh, you. So it's turn based. So we'll be uh, taking our turns, clicking on this button, and uh, we can click on the network button and navigate to the network view. Okay. Yeah, nothing about this game was developed with fiction in mind. We wanted it to be based on real-world cybersecurity concepts. I like it. All right, here we go, John. Oh, nice. We got the hoodie. Let's see. We got the hoodie. I guess this is a overview of a um, of the facility. Uh, is that accurate? It's just a neighborhood. Um, okay. Yeah. So what? I guess what are we gonna do? So. These are the actions that we can do, John. Um, looks like I think the green ones are the ones that are available and in play. Okay. So you can create, uh, oh, geez, there's a lot here. You can do recon, OSINT recon. You can do research, physical recon, create a malicious USB, evade network detection. Those are your options. Oh, and recruit hackers and upgrade your <laughs> rig. Recruit our people. Uh, I think the, the best thing that we should probably do is, uh, you know, you always want to start off with uh, doing some OSINT, right? Doing that open source intelligence gathering, kind of mapping out what you're uh, going to be looking at. That way you can start to create a threat model around what you what you find based on the OSINT information. So let's go ahead and, uh, and choose that. Right. That's going to take one guy and two turns. You have four, you have four guy resources to, oh. to, uh, to work with. So let's see. You can do... Um, you can do research for two in one turn. You can do a covert attack. Well, you can't do that yet. You can do physical recon two and two. Uh, okay, let's do uh, the physical recon as well. Okay. And then there we you, should... go. you got two resources left uh, if you want. Okay. Uh, let's. I mean, if we don't use them, do they go back? Go up into the next turn? Do they overlap into the next turn? Kind of like if you don't use it, you don't yeah, lose it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they I... roll over and they'll they'll return once their action is finished. Yeah, and okay. I just want to point out too, like this is one turn. Uh, wait, where is it? So one the turn, clock one is turn. So you might as well use this because there's no, you don't lose anything. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. So let's end our turn because we. Well, oh, we still have a minute here. So let's look around a little bit and see what we got. 
the screen is being a little unforgiving here with uh, the it cutting off on the side, but yeah, I think at, you shrank it. You shrank the width to make it fit. Um, if you widen it, it'll. Oh, uh, oh I, there, see, there I, you see, go. I see. Cool. All right. So let's oh, look at our cool. network. All we have is the internet. Okay. Location. That's our neighborhood. And there's John, his back. <laughs> and uh, we have, I think we only have one resource and uh, yeah. We only have one resource. I'm not sure really what we can do. I don't think we have any other options, John. I don't. We don't really need to worry about evading network detection since we're not even there, right? Mm -hmm. We don't even know where we're on the network. So, um, uh, yeah, I think this is. I think we have enough information to, or enough actions selected to go ahead and go. All right, let's end our turn. <clears throat> All right. So now it's presumed that the AI did something on the blue team side, right? So. Let's see what we got. All right. Did we not get anything? Hmm. You can check your progress by looking at your action log. Okay, so oh, let's okay. look at this action log. Ooh, evade network detection failed. So what? So is we this should have selected that. All right, interesting. What so does I think that Im imply, Clint? I think you you accidentally clicked the um, evade network detection. I think you accidentally added it to the queue. Oh and, my god. Yeah, and so. Um, what that does is that sets up your next network attack for um, for detection. And so it failed because, yeah, you, you didn't have a pivot or a host or anything like that. Okay. That you can sense. check your action queue by clicking on the action queue button, and that'll let you know what's in there before you end your turn. Okay. So we still have two resources, John, and it looks like um, these actions are going to complete at the end of next turn. So. Okay. How do you want to? How do you want to spend your two resources um, here? Let's go and Ooh. we're we're doing recon. Why don't we do? I mean, let's do some research. It only takes one turn. We got enough uh, resources to do it. That's going to be variable based on the type of research you choose. Okay, so, so yeah, I would say let's go ahead and look for access control because access control can be anywhere from, you know, logging on to something to actually going to you know a gate and seeing if you have to like scan a badge or something. So okay, there is a difference between physical research and cyber research in this. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, phys sex right here. Let's do that one. Yep. Thank you for uh, that uh, for that Clint. That 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 sums up, or that makes it a lot easier or a lot better. Um, All right. I think that's it. So let's go ahead and um, complete our turn then, since we uh, we don't have any more actions available. Okay. Conditions normal. I, you know, you tell me what normal is, right? <laughs> that lets you know if you're running an attack campaign or if you're just solo in it. Okay. Okay. Oh, OSINT complete. All right. You got 25 points. Attack. That's good. Okay. Got those Crayola books. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and then we did like some phys, physical uh, phys sec recon here. 25 points. So I think that that implies that like certain um things have unlocked yeah so it looks oh, nice looks like we've unlocked some stuff here john mm -hmm. just so you know we have uh three guys Nothing and else, yeah. uh i think we're gonna get two back um at the end of the next turn what about uh internet what's the internet look like <clears throat> still nothing oh so we do a host scan okay let's do a host scan why not and then, uh, so that's one turn, right? And then yeah, what about location one, one down person. there at the bottom? What's that? Uh, location down there at the bottom. What, where You'll where remain there going? until you actually choose a um, an action to move. Okay. Yeah. And what about what about network? Is network going to be the same thing then? It's going to pop up. There it is. Okay. Yeah, so I we think with network, this, as we start discovering hosts and devices and stuff, it'll begin filling out here. Okay. Yep. Um, go back to actions, and then so we're doing. A, we already chose chose host scan. Uh, we don't want to start doing any attacking or anything. We still hold, are hold on, Clint. Is this host scan different than the host scan that we executed from the internet? You you can host scan um, multiple times per turn if you have multiple pivots. Right now, the only pivot you have I is see. in the internet. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and scroll down because um, I'm. All right, with those, uh, we might want to do an evade network detection if since we're on the network and we're going to start doing some scans, right? We want to, I don't, 
in my mind, it just says, okay, like we want to make sure that we're not uh, being too noisy. Just for mechanics, per for game mechanics purposes, I'll let you know that um, that that is only going to be a viable action if you're actually about to do a network attack. So okay. don't worry about yeah. So it, that is literally that's meant to be evade network detection from actual attacks. Okay, that's good to know. Um, and then recruit hackers. No, that's a pretty expensive one. That takes three turns. Yeah, we're not there yet. Yeah. Uh, you know, outside of just like trying to use up resources, I think we got to kind of like wait to see what we can start to find. Uh, yeah. Recruiting hackers is harder before you've built up street cred, by the way. Oh, interesting. Okay. Good to know. Our, well, we got 20 seconds, John. You want to do Let's do some research. Let's do some research because that only takes one turn. And we got what enough. What do you want to do? 14 seconds. Um, let's do. No, 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 no. We keep scrolling down. Seven seconds. Let's do weak passwords. See what happens. Ooh! All right, here we go. Right at the buzzard. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. First host scan completed. Nice job, John. We've right. discovered a few targets. I like that. Weak password research. Cool. Nice. Physical security research again. Um, All right. Lock picking, bumping. I like it. Now, okay. real quick, before I go any further, uh, Clint, where is the wiki that was discussed earlier so people can, um, like, if they're yeah. not familiar with some of these terms? Yeah, when you close out of there, there's a question mark at the bottom frame. So close out of there. Down, You said question mark down by the intern button. You can click oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you're new to cyber or you're, you know, you want to get some context and a little bit better understanding, this is just a treasure trove of concepts and, te and uh, terminology. This is this is excellent right here. This alone is um, worth the price of admission. All right. So John, here's here's our network, bud. Can we scroll out a little bit? Or is that the is that what we're looking at? OK, OK, there's another host down there. Yep. Uh, wow, you got it. You got a free feature. The scroll the network scroll feature wasn't supposed to be available until 1.6. It snuck in. Nice. I like it. Fancy. <laughs> so what do you um, want to do, John? Well, let's go to actions because we're running out of time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, let's Ooh. do a port scan. Definitely got to go with a port scan. See what we Wh can which find. Which target? Uh, you know, let's do it on all three. To be, uh, so you can just click on the asset itself. I did. Oh, yeah. okay. I clicked on this one, I think. Yeah. So let's do the... Yep. So let's go ahead and do uh, 160. Port scan. 71. Do a port scan. Um, and then let's, uh, we got two more turn or two more actions that we can use. Yeah, we got two resources. Yeah. Got nothing pending. So let's go back down to actions. Um, and, um, changed location. Um, I'm not sure what we would do Keep with that. Keep in mind that if you change locations, there will be certain actions that won't be available to you that are strictly remote. Those, your, your resources aren't actually people. It's just kind of. A, it's a gray area abstract concept called hacker resources. Okay. Okay. Um, now, I don't know, John, two turns and two resources for John. I'm just going to check the time real quick, 40 seconds. Uh, create a malicious USB. I mean, this attack does work. Uh, it's what Stuxnet happened to Stuxnet. <laughs> it is. And uh, many other attacks. But yeah, no, uh, I just, I think I f in my mind, looking at it from a uh, offsec per perspective is we're still kind of in that OSINT reef phase or recon phase, right? Because we're mm -hmm. trying to enumerate. Um, I would say... More research? Sure, why not? I think that sounds good. You um, can't go wrong, I don't think, in real seconds. life even. Let's, research. Let's do... Three seconds. Uh, there we go. That. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to pick something. We did SQL injection. Let's hope there was a, a, a web app for us. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yep, let's go. So we got a nice port scan. Okay, cool. All right, so now we should be able to click on those hosts, right, Clint, and see ports, hopefully? Yeah, oh, you clicked on the shield. Yeah, be careful not to click on the shield. It tells you vulnerabilities. Yeah, just click on the... Yep. So we're not actually showing you... In this game, it's high level, so we're not showing you the all the details of a port scan and, and and all that level but every time you do a port scan and then your service enumeration you are going to get more information okay do you want okay so should we do i mean it seems like 
doing a port scan and then doing a service enumeration right afterwards is kind of logical. Yeah, because I mean, those services, if those services are vulnerable, outdated, whatever, that's what's going to show us some more vulnerabilities. So in my mind, if we just do service scans on the hosts, that's what uh, seems like the logical next point to uh, to take. Yeah, when you actually identify vulnerabilities, they'll show up by clicking on that shield that shows you the vulnerabilities screen. Okay, awesome. Um, so what do you want me to do service enumeration or what do you, what yeah. you want to do? Yeah, service enumeration sounds good. You want me to just burn all three of our guys? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Oh, this is cool too. It tells you like what kind of device it is too, can, right? Windows can you sh- network. Can you show the action log? I, I don't remember what the other thing that's pending is. Oh, it's the research. That's right. Yeah. My that was my uh, my <laughs> drastic selection. Oh, the shot out of the cannon at the last <laughs> minute. <laughs> all right. Let's let's uh, here. Let me. I'm gonna. Just check. Um, I want to check the, uh, the 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 comments really quick and see what we got going on in here. But um, Clint, is, do you want to cover anything particular about the AI of the blue team and what we're actually up against? Yeah. So um, right now, the AI is developed to the ten- it only has one set of tendencies right now, and it's meant to follow what would be considered industry best practices. So think about in the beginning, you have an immature network and you're going to have all the same issues of an immature network. As the game goes on, the AI will develop out a cybersecurity program and technology to be more mature to where you're going to have to change strategies. And so it, it, it's going to feel like real life uh, for, from a rev team perspective here. Okay. All right, so we got to strike while they're on top before they get their crap in order, basically. Yeah, you definitely, right. definitely want to use early game strategies and just like in real life uh, in the game. Low-hanging fruit changes. All right, let's end our turn and see what happens here. Here we go. Service enumeration completed. <laughs> It's a Unix system. I know this from Jurassic Park. I think we spent I think, a I, lot of time on flavor text. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we found a SQL injection, John. It wasn't a total uh, waste. All right. That's just researching your knowledge and your skills. That's not finding the vulnerabilities. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay, okay. All right. Maybe they watched, the, they watched the Simply Cyber episode. I like it. Look okay. at that. We did the full recon. We have completed the recon phase. Ooh, effective threat vector found. Let's go see what we got. All right, let's click on them shields. Oh, we got a firewall there, so we know we're on the perimeter probably right there. So you haven't found any vulnerabilities yet, but you have the information you need to now find the vulnerabilities. Okay. Oh, and we got a... Oh, this is maybe Clint's workstation right here. Oops. (laughs) All right, so let's check our actions out. Um, so I guess, you know, well, you tell me, uh, John, what would you like to do? Well, uh, I, I wanted to be a little bit more interactive, and it looks like uh, Alan is saying maybe we should try uh, a phishing attempt. And, uh, you know, I am I think we've done enough uh, recon now to where we could, I think, you know, executing a spear phishing attack, it, it might be good. Do we have enough... Uh, enough uh, actions to do phishing and and network evasion because we would need i think four right so we've yeah, got we all five resources available uh, a fish a spear phishing attack is three and three that's a long turn um and then what was the other one you wanted the evade the network detection uh yeah that's one in one so we could do you know it, clint is evade network detection where you would do it on multiple points on the network or is it no, a single? That's, that's going to prepare your next attack for potential. Uh, it, it, you don't know if it's going to be successful or not, depending on if they have IDS set up and things like that. But okay. you are preparing your attack to be more stealthy. Okay. So you want to do a spear fishing attack, John? Uh, yeah. Or if we can scroll over to the right a little bit before we pick that, just to see to see if there is anything over there. Okay. So we have quite a bit of other stuff. But, you know, we're going to go with... Uh, Alan's judgment here and do the spear phishing attack. All right. Well, and we have 30 seconds. We still have two two resources left. I mean, we could do fuzzing for two turns. We could do 
Vulnerabilities let's do that. Time. Find public vulnerabilities. Those are always the good ones. That's where we're going to be pulling that information from, like vulnerability scanners. Uh, okay. And let's do it on the two Windows hosts. Let's just it's, do it. From it's all. It's all or nothing. It's everything. It's all. Oh. It's you're just looking for public vulnerabilities based on the information you currently have on everything. I think we probably need to end the term. We're right at the end here. <laughs> we forgot to increase that timer for the show. Yeah. I. I whoops. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we found. Public. Yes. Found oh, a public wow. vulnerability. But we're still got to wait for that. Um, the phishing, because the phishing campaign takes what three turns, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Al Alan's working that right now. All right, Alan. It's all on Let's you. Let's see. Man. Now you can click on the shields. Incorrect so. access. Weak password. Default creds. Oh, oh, believe it or not, that's a pretty realistic vulnerability that happens quite a bit. Now we can't attack it because we don't have enough resources. Right. Correct. Oh, Correct. that's brutal. So it's just hanging out there. So we have yeah. two actions, right? What's on oh. that one? Can we click on the shield on uh, Clint's computer there? Missing AV, directory traversal. Because time. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Clint, you got to do something about your computer's antivirus, man. <laughs> oh, interesting. So we lost Ashby's computer as well. So I don't know if um, what yeah, happened we got, there. We probably got detected. Hmm. It's probably a remote user or something that logged off. Mm, okay. That. okay. So it, that happens in the <laughs> game. You'll have remote users that'll log on and off, and you got to chase them down. All right. So we got two turns left, uh, John, until these three uh, these three Allens are done fishing. Um, so what would you well, like to do? I want to make sure that by the time that that spear fishing attack is done, that we can use we can attack it we want to do that and try to establish um, persistence on that machine. Mm -hmm. so, so I think we have two turns, right? Yep. To, to mess around. Yep. So we just want to make, I just want to make sure that what we do now doesn't take longer than two turns. Okay. Um, so with that being said, we already let's, let's do, well, I don't think we need to do fuzzing right now since the only host we have online is that, and we know default credentials are on the perimeter. So we kind of know what we can do already. Um, so why don't we just do some research then? I think that sounds like a, a valuable option. What would you like to research? Let's, we already know default credentials, directory traversal, things like that. So let's look for a uh, command injection. It's a pretty popular thing that pops around. Excellent. And I'm going to end the turn. Thanks for watching that, uh, the comments, John, too. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. she's back online. And now we don't have any action, so we can just kind of like fast forward. <laughs> yeah, well, let's. I, I, I do want to take a minute and just kind of, well, I guess there's really no reason to look because when we do get turn, we're going to blow all of our resources on an attack, right? Right. Uh, and Clint, does that attack, does that that? Pray, that sprays and prays to the entire network or just to one that's host? targeted you'll see okay. whenever when you actually go for the attack you build your attack you pick the vulnerability you pick the host you pick the objective okay awesome okay so shall we end the turn uh, i reckon all right let's check it out Ooh, command injection research completed. We're getting skilled up. I like it. <laughs> all, all right, right so we got we... all five guys, John. You tell right. me. So I think I think it goes without saying that we got to do that attack. We might as well go after it. All right, here we go. Firewall. Ooh, all right, all right. Assets, known vulnerabilities. We got these right here. The, the one with an asterisk means that's researched. Okay, okay. So you so, have a better chance with that one. The objective is uh, manipulation. So, John, what would you what would you like to do? So, the uh, if it says weak password is the uh, is the preferred method, let's go after that one. Or, well, no, you said that's research. I'm levels. sorry, my bad. Ugh, brain. Well, yeah, it's it's research, meaning so your 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 chances of, of successfully achieving that one are going to be um, increased relatively. Every di every type and use your OSCP knowledge here because every different type of vulnerability does have a different difficulty level for achieving that attack. Correct. Um, I mean, if you know, it, but 
A weak password, if you know the password, that's good. Default credentials, though, is a simple Google, and I know it. So, you know, now that you mentioned that, I would say actually go with default credentials because if they're enabled, that's we should be able to have that. So, and manipulation, if that's our only objective, we might as well go with that. All right, let's do it. Oh, I love the uh, sound effects too when you do the ominous. When you do, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's end our turn. It takes one turn, so um, don't go too far from the keyboard, John, because we're gonna know if we're in. Here we go. Oh, the blue team. All right, AI, what you got? So <laughs> click on your action log. Failed. Oh. Oof, so you probably didn't have the correct default credentials list. All right. Let's see. Uh, what? So what should we do next? Can All we right. attack it again with our weak password? Like just, I mean, it's the external firewall. Let's bang on it. Seeing uh, what the folks in the crowd say, because we got we got a couple minutes here. All right. All right. And I think I think uh, the next thing, the next logical thing, is to do an at attack again. But let's see what uh, you know, the crowd says. All right, all right, uh, community, 40 of you out there. What are you <laughs> thinking? Uh, what would you do next? Here's the actions to choose from. We just tried to take a run at this firewall with a default password and unfortunately put like the Sonic wall password in instead of the Cisco password. So the weak password vulnerability, that's uh, basically the difference between the weak password vulnerability and the default credentials is obviously you know what default credentials is. Weak password means it's going to be easily cracked. Let's see, so weak password attack then? Let's see. Okay. You want me to do the attack weak password? Tom is, says attack weak password. Okay, okay. Win the crowd. Okay, here we go. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. All right, let's um we got a minute. I got to figure out how to how to raffle off these uh, some of these licenses so people can play threat gen themselves on their own system. I don't know if the crowd if, if anyone's interested in the crowd in, in winning a free uh, license to this uh, technology. I, well, I'm trying to figure out how to raffle these off while I'm talking and running this game. So, here we go. Let's see. Good luck, John. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. There's still work to do. A lot of work, John. Okay. You're now a hacker. Congratulations, John. <laughs> You've got some street cred. Yeah. yeah. So now we can start recruiting people, right? You have a better chance of that, yes. Nice. All right. So you successfully compromised an asset, too. Let's take... Oh, my God. Pivot available. We're just leveling up here. Meaning you can perform a host scan from that. So that's kind of nice. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. This this means we own it, I think. Yes. All right. All right. So now, uh, Clint, just so that I make sure I'm on the same terminology. So since that's got a little skull, does that mean we're we have persistence on the firewall? Yes. Okay. So yeah, the, there's an icon legend button over there you can click as well. That'll help you. Oh, hence the icon the legend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning how to read. <laughs> um, let's see. So we've we've compromised this uh, firewall. Uh, it looks like there's an unknown network device. So do we do some recon on that, or do we attack something else? Um, we have no vulnerabilities on Clint's computer. I think that would be a, ni a nice little attack vector. So, okay, hold on. So you're saying attack Clint? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve it. <laughs> uh, let's let's go after it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what our options are. Hold on. See what our options are? Or attack well, no, Clint? with attacking Clint's computer. I think the consensus is let's go after Clint's computer. All right. So well, uh, what are we going to... What what kind of attack are we going to do here for Bow Dungeon? So directory traversal, LFI, RFI. This makes me realize that this is some kind of web app, right? Um, there's no asterisk next to anything, so there's not like a researched method that's gonna work better. Um, and we're we're running short on time, so I would say if missing antivirus is one, and we got that hacker cred, maybe we've kind of like buffed up our 
our uh, our capabilities and we can bypass the antivirus. Um, and we know the machine, if it doesn't have any virus, it's probably not going to send an alert. Uh, I don't want to do denial. We don't want to bring it down. I would say manipulation. All right. Missing AV manipulation. Bo Dungeon. Clint, we're coming for you. So if Clint's <laughs> camera goes out. It's my own it's fault. Happening. It's my own fault. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Now, if this doesn't work, we might need to pace ourselves with attacking and start going back into reconning inside the network so that way we don't make too much noise. Ooh, access cut off. Looks like the blue team figured it out. Not good. Uh-oh. Shit, man. All right. <laughs> All right, so we still... Um, I think we still are here, right? I think they just didn't like um, our attack on Bow Dungeon. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say let's leave Bow Dungeon al al alone for a second. Okay. Is um so Clint is host scan like basically pivoting from this firewall and scanning from the internal yeah. network? Yeah, yeah. When it said the network was cut off, that basically means that um, you lost access. If you would have done a it, like you kind of did something accidentally good. If you would have already done a host scan and saw everything internally, then uh, whenever they did whatever they did, cut off your access, you would have lost visibility to those. So right now, you only have visibility. Uh, you can assume that the, the two Windows machines are probably remote users. That's why they're internet face they're, they seem to be internet facing. Mm -hmm. um, and because you still own that firewall, you could you see something else attached to it. Okay. If you look at their IP addresses, you'll see that they have the same IP address scheme and that kind of stuff. So. Hmm. So no actions. I don't want to worry about attacking Clint's computer again. We're going to lay off of, of Clint's computer. This is another network device. Uh, it's one one uh, asset, and uh, we can uh, cover our tracks and host scan from this device as well, and we can also do the actions in the action uh, tree. So I th what does the, the cover actions um, entail? Clint, what does cover actions entail? Or, I'm sorry, cl cover yeah. tracks action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cover tracks is going to make it um, harder for the blue team to detect that they're compromised if they have endpoint protection or IDS set up. Okay. Basically, well, installing a rootkit. We uh, we got a little bit detected, so I think that would be a good option to choose. I agree, especially since this is what looks like the perimeter firewall. I, I wouldn't want to lose that foothold. Yeah, so let's right. go ahead and choose that. And then let's do a service scan on that network device. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, and a host scan. Is the host scan, can we do that? Do we still have enough? Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Okay, we got right. it. So um, let me know if uh, Stefan is in, in, the, uh, in the audience today. Like just chime in in the chat because I, I have an idea for this raffle, um, but I, I would ask if he could help me with it real quick. Okay, let's end our turn. All right, here we go. Oh, dude, I just saw a little preview of, of the network. It looks <laughs> like a lot of stuff. All right, cover your tracks. Never leave a cover up. Okay, good. So we put a root kit on that. Excellent. Ooh. Wow. What is this guy? What is that, a key fob? That kind of looked like a like an RSA token device. Yeah, it's oh, a it's corporate a, router, though. The router? Oh, RTR. It's router. Uh, okay, yeah, we, but... we, we, we based it on Vizio art. <laughs> nice. It so I would imagine crazy. that that corporate router then is something to pivot traffic through in some part of this LAN. Um, also, too, for those watch list looking, like notice how all these have like the same IP address, so you can assume that they're all on the same network, right? They're all on the same subnet. Yeah, um, I'm trying to stack them so we can kind of. I don't know if there's any advantage to uh, organizing these guys this way, but sanity. Yeah, and th and then these are our remote users, I guess. If you okay. click on that one, I think you'll notice that's on a different subnet. Those two guys. Yeah, 141. I mean, we don't know what the. Okay. Yeah, and these are all 116. So the 116 is kind of the internal. So, all right, John. I, I spent all my cycles making it look pretty, but what do you want to do? Thank you. <laughs> um, what? So what is on that router? What can we do with that router? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Okay. So I think uh, let's do a port scan on those. 
You want to do all five? Yeah, why not? Because it only uses one turn, right? Yeah. All right, we're slowly building this baby out. Okay, here we go. Hopefully that doesn't make too much noise. Only the cool sound effects. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so now we did the port scan. It's basically port scan service enumeration. It, that's what it feels like um, in order to maximize well, the value. Oh, we could it see- It tells you the device, device type. Yeah, that's important. So I guess if you only had like a couple turns and you couldn't enumerate everything, you could you could um, prioritize. So we got two network devices, John, and three Windows servers. Let's um, let's do the Windows servers. Okay. For those that are new to cybersecurity, what it's doing is teaching the value of each one of those steps in the kill chain. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Not that like hitting the network devices is 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 not important i think uh right now though if we can get some service versions and find out like what if there's any like low hanging fruit on those uh on those windows servers that's a that's a quick way to um to get bigger access within the, or main get a bigger presence in the network the other thing is too is uh i mean windows servers typically typically are like you know servers that host things like domain admin things like that Yep. Email uh, exchange, right? If yeah. you're on prem. So, so we, got, we, got we did not include the new exchange more. vulnerabilities. <laughs> <laughs> we got two two actions if you want to use them. Um, John, we can we can uh, I don't know what what is an attack campaign, Clint? So that's your uh, social media attack campaigns, watering hole campaigns, long sustained things. It's a full campaign. So you're going to use resources depending on the cost for each campaign. Uh, it's another dialogue where you select it and those resources will be gone until you end the campaign. Okay. Oh, I see. You're so it's a, it's a sustained effort. Okay. Can we do find public vulnerabilities on those Windows hosts as well while we're doing service version scans? Yeah. So yeah, every single time. Yeah. It, if you can play oh, multiple right. actions, you can afford it. You can do it. Yeah. And that's so right. every time you have new stuff, it's probably a good idea. Or you should know you're going to have to look for vulnerabilities. You know, again. Okay. And I guess for the game mechanics, you should know that you're only going to find zero day vulnerabilities by doing reverse engineering and fuzzing. Okay. Yeah, there was a question in the audience from KC asking to click on the question mark underneath one of these to see what it was. So this takes you to that wiki um, with all of the information and takes you right to the specific element that we're we're looking at here. Um, John, 20 seconds, one guy. What do you want to do? Anything? Let's just go ahead and push it forward, see what we get. I don't think uh, 15 seconds was enough to make a calculated decision. <laughs> and by the way... and. The timer is stopped right now until you hit start turn. So that's an opportunity for you to do whatever you need to do. If you need, if there's uh, raffles you want to do, or if mm. there's any discussions you want to have. Oh, I uh, see. I see. So okay. your timer doesn't start until you click start turn. I see. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Here, let me start the turn, and I'm actually going to uh, set this up really quick. Um, here, let's start the turn. I'm going to. Ooh, found a vulnerability. I like it. So oh, look at there. There's a mail server. Look, there's that DC we were talking about, that domain controller that's probably got some kind of like DA account. Um, so what is on, you know, let's go, let's go for the uh the creme de la creme. Let's see what's on that corp DC. Attack it. <laughs> I don't know. What what do you folks think? <laughs> Should we just go after the DC? It's it's a pretty juicy target. Or should we go after the share 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 uh, share servers are typically in my experience in pen testing are typically a lot uh, more open than domain controllers. Not saying that domain controllers are not. Yeah, well, the share share could be nice. I mean, by the way, we're looking for the ICS section too. So like. I mean, I, I would want to um, do you know find the network segments that have the ICS because that's ultimately our goal, right? Correct. So with that, um, 
what what if we did so now that uh, this is just an idea do we have the corp mail server can we click on that yep. and see what's there attack so just an attack because i was thinking like we could do like some kind of phishing campaign and attack the mail server at the same time but we don't have enough resources for that so uh let's see so it, it said it found a vulnerability what was on the corp share server Oh, the yeah, shield. Like on the shield. That's right. Local so, file inclusion format string error. So it gives you an error. So for those of you that don't know, if you give like a pass a string through that doesn't um, get comprehended right on the server, it throws you an error, right? And then it gives you a big log. Uh, our LFI. Um, and then what were, the, what were the vulnerabilities? Oh, well, I guess we're running that close out of time. Uh, <laughs> I'll also throw out a, a reminder that your objective is the ICS. Right. So, you know, that's a good point. I think maybe we're, I'm getting a little too ahead of myself here with how keeping there was that a, in mind. There, there was a comment in the comments that somebody asked uh, if, we were, if we're assuming that the ICS is on the same subnet as those servers. And, you know, while that does happen, um, I, you know, it's up to you to assume that or not. Well, we have played the blue side and and seen, you know, had, had a little bit of an inkling on the blue side. But um, I just paused the timer really quick here, John. Uh, five five guys, twenty seven seconds. What do you think? Um, man, I would. Th I guess yeah, it'd probably be better to start uh, seeing what those we can get with those network devices. We can, uh, and if we can get access to one of those network devices, then we can start branching out to even bigger parts of the network. Um, okay, three guys, <laughs> three guys, no. uh, and and twenty seconds. Do you want to do anything else? You want to look at the action log? Is the crowd crowd weighing in on anything? Um, yeah, somebody said you said best blue practices, so I'd assume not. So the crowd is basically saying that they're assuming that that if the blue team goes by best practices, that the ICS is probably no longer on the same subnet. Okay. So what can we do with that router? Let's click on that router really quick. Can All we can well, do we is attack it. Yeah. Okay. So um, maybe do another host scan from that firewall, see if we find anything else. And I think that's good. I think we don't right. have to use all our actions. Now, John, I'm curious, uh, when you're doing pen testing, do you ever get this sense of like an anxiety and anxiousness because of time? Or is or do you, are you just kind of in the driver's seat? There's always more time. It just it it, it takes less sleep <laughs> and more coffee. Um, so when you're pausing the timer, you're simulating sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. No. There's uh, there's times, but um, you know, at the same time, uh, typically, uh, if that ever happens in a pen test engagement um, or a red team engagement, uh, it usually. It, it typically, in my experience, and what I mean by typically is I mean every time it's happened, it just uh, the the engagement gets pushed to the right a little bit. Um, like even in my red teaming days of going all over the place, all over the country, and having to travel doing that, um, if something was uh, getting a little, if if things got needed to be pushed, they would be pushed, and the engagement just gets pushed a little longer, which okay. is nice. So it's not like the blue side where when someone's in your network, you're you're like, ah! <laughs> no. And that's why I, uh, you know, hands hands off to anybody who works in IR. Uh, I couldn't do what you do. Uh, I couldn't do it. It's the alerts and the things that you deal with. Y'all are the real the real heroes. <laughs> So I, do, I don't know what happened here. It looks like we did service enumeration on. Ooh. Oh, we got another firewall too. Yep. It says I guess this is a Palo Alto firewall, or um, it says server, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Um, and then corporate firewall. So corporate gateway, I guess based on the naming convention. So are we to assume that this is the gateway for the external remote users, and then this is the main firewall for the internet. It would appear that the naming scheme gives telltale signs in this case. Okay, here we go. And I, I, I'm almost assuming that it looks like I, I'm really densing it up over here, but um, 
you, you see what I'm saying? The firewall is there and then the router splits it yep. all to the, to so the outlet. For those of you looking, you can just kind of like put little boxes where those, yeah. uh, those routers I, I did, are. I did try to do out. that. You can't see me doing it. That's I don't know a where feature this... on the roadmap. We're going to make it where you can draw boxes to help organize it just oh, for nice. you. <laughs> All right, so um, we've got five resources. We can attack something if we want, John. We can do research. We can do a campaign. Um, let's go and see what we can do to get that. Uh, that. Yeah, let's go after the that firewall. Let's see what we can find. Well, so I think nothing. we have to find some vulnerabilities on it or something. There's no actions available for this asset. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah, and we have. We have these new uh, networking devices, so let's do a vulnerability, uh, do some vulnerability research, or yeah, find this one. Yep. Okay, four, four, um, four things here, and then, um, let's do let's do an at attack campaign. We haven't done that yet. Let's you know, let's see what it what it does. See if it All gives right. us some things. What what have you had the most success with, John, in your in your practice? Email phishing, social media, or watering hole? So I've never done a, a watering hole attack. Uh, done plenty of email phishing, um, and email phishing. I, I will just give. Uh, you know, I know I we only got thirty seconds, but word of advice is that email phishing in campaigns always works. And I know organizations that don't like to do email phishing because they know it works. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's go after. It. Let's do that. There are specific security controls in place that the blue team can do to make those campaigns harder as the game goes on. Nice. All right, so we're doing the attack campaign here. All right, so we got uh, all of our actions queued up. We've got our uh, resources committed. Let's end the turn. And uh, just so you all know, um, the raffle uh, infrastructure is being built right now by my good friend, Stefan Waldvogel. Um, so stay tuned for that. In fact, let me do this really quickly so people can... Give me one second. I'm setting up the, um, the invite here. So I'm going to I'm going to drop an invite into the chat everybody and this is an invite to um Stefan Waldvogel's Discord server which he has graciously given me a segment for Simply Cyber and we will be using that uh for the raffle later on in this in this uh show so just get that Discord server set up and then once it, once the the bots built out we'll uh we'll execute okay all right here we go John all right, Found a vulnerability. Nice. <clears throat> uh, so Ooh. it looks like it might be on that uh, Palo Alto. So weak password. We had success with weak passwords before. Um, and if we close that out, let's close that out because I don't really think we know anything that's going on with the uh, where that like we don't know what that belongs to yet, right? The the Palo Alto, like what where it's it's bridging off and and sending traffic. So maybe and just so you know, there was no product placement going on there. That's just a coincidental name. Doesn't actually say Palo Alto. Right. Pal Palto. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Palto. Um, so let's see what the the Palto the Palto <laughs> server where uh, where that's gonna take us. Cause if we're going after that ICS, let's let's attack that. Let's see what happens. Oh, we don't have um our, we have our uh, resources committed. I think they'll be available next let's, turn. Let's see our action log really quick. Yeah, and we can do... Um, oh, we're running that phishing campaign right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, we could do f find vulnerabilities again, right? Uh, yeah. Can we? Is it... It's a one, it's a one uh, tick turn. Yeah, I think. Where is it? It's a one one. Yeah, here it is. Want to do it again? Yeah, why not? Gave us something valuable. Okay. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to commit it, but I'll ask the audience who in the, who in the crowd has uh, played this before and what was your experience like? I'd be curious to, to know how wide this game has gotten so far. So let's end the turn. Woo. So it's just set up. I like it. First attack campaign. So now it'll run, keep those resources. So why are we still missing resources? What's the, is it, oh, it's running? 
Yeah, so your attack campaign is now set up and running, and you'll continue to be without four resources as long as it's running. Oh, all right. Well, I I guess then let's just uh, let's do more more vulnerability research or public vulnerabilities. What whatever the name. Was. Okay. Hold on. So I missed it. So how how are our resources committed? If you go to action log, it'll show you. It's because you're running an attack campaign. Oh, this is active right now, so we'll never yeah. have five resources. Or you can look at higher, uh, you know, there, there are ways to get more resources, such as upgrading your rig and hiring hackers, recruiting hackers. Ooh, but you ooh, or and we could sniff network traffic, too, if we want, John, or we could recruit hackers. Well, we don't have the resources for it just yet, so. Oh, that's right. So what happens if we click in campaign? It, it, does it prematurely end it or does it end it and we have data that we gathered from the campaign at that point? It is not cumulative, so you will lose everything you've worked for. Um, my recommendation would be to let it run a couple turns and see if it pops something. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's. Uh, I think we could just kind of like cycle through this turn. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what we get. Nothing. I reckon... Uh, you're fishing. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 see if we can uh, if our fishing campaign pops up with something because otherwise we're kind of stuck. With, <laughs> we don't have much for resources. So it also tells you that you have the campaign going down there at the bottom when it used to say conditions normal. Oh, oh true. Yeah, that is that is useful. Location, we're still there. Remote. Okay, so John, what do you want to do? Do we do we do a host scan for one one credit? Uh, can we from, from let's the Palo Alto, from the, maybe can we do it from the Palo Alto? Oh, well, I think the host scans for like everything, right? Clint, the host scan is specific to the pivot that you're going to be scanning from, and it oh. will only detect what's available. Um, and, and we already know the, the, the corp, uh, gateway. We do. Okay. Well, right. Cause we scanned from there, right? Yeah, we I did. We did. Yeah. Damn. Someone asked, uh, what do you need two people to hire hackers? Again, those are hacker resources, not necessarily people. So it's it, it's a more of an abstract concept. Um, it's harder to identify what hacker resources are per se than what the blue team staff and money would be. Yeah, I mean, you got a, you got HR that has to get involved, right? You know, the <laughs> criminal underground, there's HR. <laughs> Yeah, trust me, we, we are going to be redoing the whole concept of resources uh, in the red team side very soon. All right. Port scan? What? Can we Captain do a pirate? Suggest a port scan? I don't know if. The port scan, that was uh, specific to the device itself, right? Oh, there it is. Yeah, the port scan's purple, so I don't know if that means we already did it and it's not available, or probably nothing can be port scanned at the moment. Okay, okay. I said I vote in the turn. Just see if our campaign finishes up. All right, here we go. Nothing. It's it's so. They're like Cornelius. What's, what's his like uh, Yukon Cornelius? Yeah. Yep. No. yep. <laughs> Uh, I uh, let's end the turn again. <laughs> See if we can. Well, hold on. Let me ask you this: Sir, researching public vulnerabilities of one and one, right? We could just burn that, and it's really no cost, right? Is it going to bring up new vulnerabilities, though? Is it that can. Okay. Then yeah. Okay. Uh, then we should just, yeah. just to burn our credits, you know. Oh, it's taken a while. I think something may have happened. Oh God. I was really getting excited there for that. Uh, you know, what's another one credit that we can potentially use? Uh, nope, uh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, we don't want to end the campaign. We don't need to do, we can't do a new host scan. I mean, we can, but we don't need to. Um, what would change location do? Uh, physically different access, different site? Yeah, that, that you're, you're changing location to the physical plant location do we have physical access yet we or would it be obvious that we had physical access you do not have physical access you okay. would know if you did because you would be on site okay okay 
Uh, unless you want to do another vulnerability one, there's, I mean, at this point, I'm just kind of waiting for the campaign to finish, see what we come up with. There is a caveat here too, that I actually don't know how it works is, so I know you, if you can't run, I don't think you, you can run um, campaigns if you're on site, it takes too many resources. Um, I don't know what would happen if you tried to move while you had a campaign running. I don't know if it would, I don't know what would happen. That's Aaron's probably not watching the stream. Only he knows. <laughs> He's actually the lead like, developer. Like, I'm sorry, I, um, John. What, what would you like to do? I, I'm working um, with Discord here to get this raffle set yeah, up too. Absolutely. Um, you know, let's let's do an intern. See if what cup pops up. <laughs> Still going. I think that the blue team has put in a pretty solid awareness program at this point. All right. You're Clint, you're making me think like maybe it would be behoove of us to uh, potentially um, in the campaign. Cause also, yeah, those remote users are gone. Yeah. Let, why don't we end the campaign and then we can, um, and then we can start attacking, um, you know, from these different, you know, endpoints like doing the attack and taking them over because, like, mm -hmm. all we got is this right now, and we have vulnerabilities on these two. Yeah, um, what do you think? Yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, campaign ended. We got all, right. all our resources back, John. Uh, so I would say let's uh, let's go after that Palto server. See what's there. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. Let's attack that. All right, now. Yeah, if you look at the info, I think it's a switch. Oh um. Yeah. Yep. It's a network switch. Okay, so let's uh, let's attack that. See what happens. Okay. I love that sound effect. Okay, here we go. I think the host name is is letting you know it's in the server network. Okay, you ready? Uh huh. Oh, nothing. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so, uh, what about the uh, the cor the corp firewall? Doesn't let's. Let's see what vulnerabilities are on that. Hold on, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. You have to attack it. Okay, let's let's attack that. See what happens. What kind uh, of attack, John? Let's do the weak passwords because that might work. Maybe. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's um, going to be Gerald's next notification sound on his phone. It really is, yeah. <laughs> I can give you the file. Okay, 20 minutes. So if this doesn't work from the uh, the folks that are watching, listening, what should we do after if this fails? Oh, uh, let's go, let's go. Hold on. Oh. Uh, so just FYI, just because you do have a vulnerability that you know about or knew about on a device doesn't mean it's still there. That is kind of a little bit of fog of war that is your last recollection. Mm. So it could be fixed. If you keep trying, keep trying, it could be fixed. So active patching and things like that. Um, well, we, let's see, tr did we try the router? We did try the router. Uh, or no, we didn't try the router. So let's go and click on that shield on the router. All right, let me see. And if that doesn't work, Alan says, let's go to the physical side. So we got a stack-based overflow and an integer overflow. So uh, we could attack those. Or uh, Clint, would that would reverse engineering target those? Reverse? Well, reverse engineering would would be a way to find other vulnerabilities like zero days. Mm, okay. Nuke it from orbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the high orbit. Um... High orbit. Uh, or, no, the, low the orbit low ion orbit. cannon. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that's a, yeah, low orbit. Hmm, makes me wonder if that's one of my colleagues uh, masquerading in the chat now. <laughs> so just what. While you're um, deciding what you want to do, um, John, I want to advise everybody. I dropped it in the comments, but the raffle is now live. So if you go to the Discord that I sent the invite to um, and go to the giveaway channel, uh, just hit the little emoji and you will be uh, entered in to the, the license. And by the way, we're giving away 10 licenses and there's 40 people in here. So you've got a 25% chance of winning one um, if everybody entered. Okay. So get after it. Okay. Thanks to threat Jen for donating those licenses. John, what do you want to do? Um, let's see. Let's click on the shield to the router. All right. We already did that. So let's attack that. See what we can get. Sorry. Right. Um, let's do a stacked over a stack overflow and Classic. let's see about manipulation. I don't want to bring it down. I don't even know why denial isn't even an option. Cause I mean, you're not, your goal is to, maneuver around the network and get this get this going. What if you want to blind their uh, threat monitoring? Mm, okay. Well, we, I haven't seen any security tools here, but... All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Nothing. Come on. Oh, my God. It's say? so it's unsatisfying. Unsatisfying. Okay. We've got our we've got our uh, activities here, right? And we mm -hmm. can also attack things. Well, our attacks aren't working. I, I, you know, I either vote change physical location or do a reverse engineering. It's going to take a couple turns, but um, you know, maybe we'll find something. This is a wicked expensive one. Five resources for three turns. Five. But we we spent that on uh, email campaigns, and that didn't work. <laughs> reverse reversing is hard yeah all right you want to go with reversing john let's see what happens why not here we go all right so we are reversing let's do this okay looks like we've got nine people entered right now so literally everybody entered is going to win a license until um until we exceed that. So good on you. Good on you, everybody. So All we right, can't John. do anything for three turns, so we might as well just burn through them. Okay. And we got one more. Yeah, you definitely have to use the celebration emoji. So the person who's putting the, the cutlery emoji and the monocle emoji that won't enter you into the contest so uh just be aware of that Ooh, successfully reversed john whoa, whoa. so does it tell us where the, we pot we found them if you go and you have to manually look at the shields to see where they are i don't think it's okay. going to tell you exactly where all right oh, well. that looks like Ooh, zero day oh let's go after that okay oh, for you, hold on, hold on. Uh, there's a zero day on the corporate firewall there's two zero days on um, this corporate Palto router. Uh, Paul Palto <laughs> router. That's going to be the running joke from now on. <laughs> so what, what do you want to do, John? I mean, it's like kid in a candy store. What do you want to pwn? Uh, let's see what the crowd says. Do we go after Clint, the Palto server, or the firewall? We got to attack one of them. We found some zero days, so we might as well go after one of them. Yeah. If I, you know, I'm not a blue, a red teamer, uh, but my suspicion, I'd go for this Palto um, server just because it's deeper into the network. Like we're looking for the ICS stuff. This is the corporate router. So I'm assuming that, you know, this router goes to all these shares and stuff and we need, we need to find the other network segments. We got a consensus though for the firewall. So let's go after the firewall and then go and then pwn the Palto server next. Okay, here we go. So let's uh, select that zero day, uh, which yeah. was the outdated firmware. Was it? Mm -hmm. and manipulation maybe... or denial? Let's do manipulation. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Right, here Anybody? we go. Oh, 
Sorry, I thought we already cycled through the time. Yeah, for for a, the blue team to detect uh, zero days or find zero days, it's much more late game for that team because they have to go and do pen testing. Gotcha. All right. All right. So, anything? Uh, go to the action log. Did it fail? Yeah, I wouldn't give up. Go to okay. the action log. Yeah, it, it did not. I mean, yes, it failed, but I would not. I would not give up on that zero okay. day. Well, let's attack that zero day again. Let's do denial, I guess, this time. Yeah. No, don't do denial. Oh, just kidding. Don't do denial. Let's yeah, do we still want to get it. It just, I mean, so Clint, is it basically kind of simulating a D&D &D where there's like effectively a roll, a, a die roll and based on firmware and blue teams? It, yeah, it, yeah, because yeah, it, it was the, the game it was too difficult to try to build in all the different intricacies. We wanted to keep the game high level enough. So we didn't build in all the different intricacies, intricacies that would determine whether the, the attack is successful or not. So there's a little bit of a random role that is swayed one way or the other, depending on things that you've done or the blue team has done. Okay. Specific to each asset, to each vulnerability. I mean, it, it's a matrix of rules. Okay. Um, one second. So most of the time, if you don't at first succeed, try, try, and try again. And if after some point you're like, okay, this isn't working, then that means it's been fixed or something like that. Okay. I'm just posting to my um, my LinkedIn uh, profile here. Like super ghetto, but I just posted to the LinkedIn my... Um, <laughs> I posted it so the people who are watching on LinkedIn right now can uh, enter the uh, join the Discord server because my comments aren't going to uh, the LinkedIn crowd. So you guys are all set now. Uh, thank you, uh, Joel. Uh, okay, so I'm going to end the turn. Yep. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, oh, so goodness. somebody said, is the Palto a different IP than the firewall? That's a good question. 11668, 116183. Yep. Uh, let's go after that Palto. See, we haven't tried that, and it's got some zero days on it, right? Those both of those uh, overflows were, um, were zero days. So let's do yeah. a, let's do a stack overflow. That's uh, and do the manipulation. Yeah, it would be nice if it said zero day here. Yeah, that's that's that is on our. Um... Roadmap. Yeah, it's it's a it's a bug. We we call it a bug because it's not there. But yeah, it's it's on the list to be fixed. User experience. Okay, let's hide this log. Let's end the turn. Ooh, asset compromise. Hundred points. Hundred points. We're in. We're in. <laughs> <clears throat> Pivot available. All right, good. I so I maybe. Oh, look at that. What can we do with that? Uh, let's do a host scan. Maybe we're going to find that ICS. We got this guy over here. Um, oh, let's, oh, yeah. Let's These do are all one 116s, aren't they? Yeah, so this is part of that network segment over here. Unless they subnet. Well, so by compromising the, the switch, it, it gave you knowledge that there is something else attached to it. Yeah, so let's port scan that. Uh, and then do cover tracks on the Palto server. Yeah, good call. Don't want to lose that. All right, ready? Um, yeah, let's let's roll through it. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Hacker voice. <laughs> yeah, so if you're uh, just joining us and you want to join the raffle, go to the Discord server that I've put in chat and other people have dropped. And once you're in that Discord server on the left side, find the giveaway channel and you'll just click that uh, celebration emoji and you will be entered. Tracks right, so covered, ready. hopefully. Ooh, we got a network device here. Yep, let's start uh, doing some service enumeration. Get see what they are. Linux, you know Linux, John, don't you? Uh, I reckon. I think I have to for my job. <laughs> uh Let's do a service scan on that guy. Yeah. Uh, and then we got three more turns. Yep. And 
uh <laughs> we're kind of back at like phase one um hmm Can we do with the service scan? Can we also do uh, a vulnerability scan or the the mm -hmm. find and it will now? But well, actually no. So it a vulnerability um, searching for vulnerabilities will only find vulnerabilities on a device after the service scan has been completed. Right. So you can't stack them to to get results in the in the same turn. I I figured. Um... For those listening to, you have to have understand the services that are associated with those ports, and the versions of those services before you can actually find vulnerabilities for them. So, um, that being said, uh, let's go to our action. We got a minute and a half. Let's see what our actions are. The ICS would be a, a Linux machine, yes. There is a lot of ICS running on Windows more and more though every day. Yeah, I still I still feel like just because of like the Internet of Things and the way how like Linux is just so you know it's open source, so people can be like, okay, well I'm going to make my ICS to look like this, but kind of look like that. Um, yeah, so uh, maybe some fuzzing. We haven't done any fuzzing. All right, Let's see what we got here. But fuzzing is noisy. It <laughs> so. can be. All right, so we got one guy. Isn't there like a one-one public vulnerabilities? That I feel like that's always a good like throwaway. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see if find anything new. <clears throat> Man, At we some are... point all the vulnerabilities would be found. So we don't have like this vulnerability generator that's always going in in this game right now. So okay. there is a finite number. Okay. Found a vulnerability though. I'll take it. Oh, so no. there's that VPN. What is what is that? That's a sim. So okay. this is something that you, we'd want to blind, right? Deny. Here's a corporate VPN. I want to find this ICS. I'm where where is it? <laughs> I know. Whoops. Oh, we can host scan this thing. I thought we already did. Oh. You can host scan from it, but yeah. Oh, I see. I you see. can always host scan from an active pivot. I see. And, you know, uh, when you do a host scan, you might not necessarily always pick up everything. So. Yeah. So what would you want to do another host scan from this guy? What's up with the seam or sim seam sim? <laughs> I don't know. We, we just attack it. it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Missing antivirus. <laughs> what? <laughs> On the sim. <laughs> On the sim. What? <laughs> All right. Man, <laughs> these folks are just asking for it. Yep. It's not uh, good. It's not good. We could do research. Let's do, do some guys research. Want to want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Um. So, you scroll but, all the way down, you'll start to see the advanced research. So there's a second level of research for almost all the basic research. Nice. To increase the success. So this allows us to, if we find, like we're finding weak passwords everywhere. So it'd probably be good to do research on weak passwords. So that way we're more precise when we go and do a, a, a weak password attack. Yeah. Cool. You want to do that then? Yeah. Whoops. Hello, yeah, the research is variable based on the, the the cost is variable based on the type of research you choose. Oh, that oh, one's four. four. So advanced is four. My bad. Uh, then let's do. Uh, we are so finding we a lot of LFI, of, right? Uh, well, we're finding a lot of LFI and heap overflows. Which uh, one do you want to do? Let's do heap. I've seen a lot of heap. Oh, and that takes okay. three. Oh, but it takes three turns. Well, yeah. Let's go for it. We're part <laughs> committed. Not? I'm the new pen tester on the team. I just like over committed us. Okay. <laughs> You're the one that's just like, just do it. Go kaboom. Yeah. Metasploit. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah. We've got 18 people in the giveaway now. So this is great. The giveaway is going to happen in a few minutes, like uh, probably five minutes from now. Bug finder. Dun, dun, dun. You found Volumaze using three techniques. 
Nice. Man, we're just getting bugs all over the place. I like it. All right, so the Sims. The Sims Somebody calls it. the exterminators because we're just finding all the bugs. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm not really. Hold on. What are, what are we doing right now? No hey actions. Man, you're the new pen tester, so I'm gonna go. Since you're the new pen tester, I'm gonna do what the senior pen tester does and go get a beer, and I'll be back after my two-hour liquid lunch. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. After your tool uh, <laughs> automatically runs by itself. <laughs> all right. So you want to do? We could host scan from this thing. Uh, from where? Um, from the Palto server. Yeah, why not? It takes okay, one turn, it, right? I mean, I feel like it's the only one that isn't really corporate. Uh, and we're looking for this ICS. All right, so we got one one thing left. Um, I don't know if you want to spend it. Uh, let's do the vulnerability stuff again. Why not? All right, here we go. Oh my God! When the new turn starts and you don't get a pop up, it's 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 uh. It's like shoulder sinking. You yeah, let down. yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at my job. Yeah. We need to uh, add a wah wah. <laughs> what about that that corporate VPN? Can we only attack it? Is that all we have? Has that an option? Yeah. yeah. What about on the uh, vulnerability side? We should click that shield on it. Okay. Oh, we found a full... We, all right. Default credentials? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. It's Can we do research for uh, default credentials? Yes. Because we could pwn that. I think it's a two as well. Let me see. Research. Default creds. There it is. Two. Yeah, one two, turn. One. Boom. All right, let's get some of that. Ooh, we've completed our heap overflow research and our default creds. We're very smart. <laughs> so now I say, let's go after that uh, corp VPN. See, see if we can pwn that really quick. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and yeah, let's do that. All right, here we go. I think you got it. Yeah, we did it. There's an X. There's a skull over it. So now, if we have the VPN, yeah, now we should have a big pivot, right? We should be able to scan anything that's trying to connect remotely into this internal network. Granted, yep. it's still not the ICS, but... <laughs> All right, let's see. If that throws you into a DMZ, that's probably one level from the ICS. Yeah. Um, you want to scan and cover tracks? Yeah, I think that's. And then and you want to do um, what is it? But vulnerabilities. But I feel like that those go. If we have one turn to burn one in one resource, we should just go to that by default. All right, here we go. All right, tracks covered. Perfect. Ooh, we got some assets here. Oh man, that's a lot. That's a lot of loot. Yeah, I don't know what they're. Uh, I you got some overlap over there. We still have to fix that. The uh, when it throws them out there, it'll still overlap. We don't have some we don't have rep repelling assets yet. That's a new network too, right? That one six six. I think one six six is what they. Oh yeah, yeah. Here, you want to just do port scans on all five, John? Yeah, and then I think it goes without saying to do service scans next after this turn. Agreed. We got 20 people in the raffle, and it's going to be wrapping up in just a minute. So, uh, if you haven't entered and you want to, now is the time. More network devices. Okay, ready? And then uh, just go through the service enumeration, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Fire. Corporate Wi Fi, DMZ. Hold on. I, I did a poor job of, of <laughs> laying this out. <laughs> but this is this is excellent though, because now um 
We got our Palto DMZ and our DMZ PI2, which I don't know what that means, but um, and our Microsoft Terminal Server. We'll throw that up here. So, John, now that you've got something to play with, what do you want to do? Uh, I think I would say at this point, um, it'd probably be good to start uh, trying to see what we can find in that DMZ. So attacking that router switch, whatever, what is that? The network switch? That would be a good thing to do. Go yeah, I'm not sure how, well, how we get access to attack. Uh, I guess we got to find vulnerabilities on it. Yeah. Yeah, so... you ha yeah. You have to have vulnerabilities to attack. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, yeah. Is this the, oh, and these are the three ways to do it, right? Fuzzing, reversing, and public yeah. vulnerabilities. I see. All so right, let's so John, public. Yeah. Do you want to do? Um, do you want to do fuzzing as well, John? Yeah. Sure. All right, and then we got two. Uh, we could do some research, or we can. Let's do research. Why not? It, it burns one turn, and we got enough resources. It, it'll um, burn two turns, depending on what it. Oh. Are they all two turns minimum? I don't want to do that because if we find a, a low hanging fruit yeah. on our next turn, I want we should go after it. Yeah. Okay. So, you, you want to just bag in? Yeah, I think that's good to just. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. The winners have been selected for the um, for the. Uh, for the license, I'm putting it there. The people on LinkedIn, um, I'll reply to that post I just did a second ago. And uh, once I get a second, see if you won. Congratulations to our winners. Um, okay, wow, okay. So now what do you want to do? So now, um, well, what what what's the action log? I've, I, I've kind of lost, got lost in the weeds. Oh, we're fuzzing. Um, Let's do, and we, we get we get all turns back on the next go around. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What do you think, uh, Junior Pen Tester, Doctor Ozier? Yeah. So if it were me, you know, we can't really do anything serious uh, without the five uh, items. So, you know, I've been pretty, pretty pleased with um, the finding public vulnerabilities, really, <laughs> and the research, you know, do we get, we get our, um, we, we get, get our five turns back. back. Yeah. So we, we can only do anything, anything we do has to be one turn, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I guess this is kind of misleading where it says one turn. Um, so I guess find public vulnerabilities or where's the USB one? Two turns. No, we only want one turn, right? Yeah, and I mean, when I think about like USB stuff, it depends on our well. I guess for context, what does that do, Clint? Like, because is it going to establish persistence on a machine or put a worm in the network? Or so if you create a malicious USB that loads it into your little toolbox down there next to the intern button, mm -hmm. and you can drop it when you're physically on site. Okay, you can use it to do a, a USB drop. Um, that's, okay. that's what it's used for right now. And we're not physically on site. So um, I think I think my personal opinion is just burn to the turn. So we get all five and then we can start attacking. Okay. Found a vulnerability. Yeah. All right. So um, what do you want to attack? Let's attack that, that switch. See what we can. Right. Because if we do that and we get access, uh, and then we've done default credentials. We did some research. Was it on weak passwords or default credentials? I feel like both? weak password. Oh, well, the asterisk next to it, right? So, Clint, you said that means that we did research on it, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, let's do... You keep hovering over weak, or weak passwords, so I, I feel like we should probably just select weak passwords. Well, I mean, I, I, well, we, I, I, we did default creds earlier, and we were burned, and I... And I like I'm gun shy now, you know. That's fine. Uh, that makes sense. Let's do that. Give us the skull. Clint, would upgrading the rig help with recon? And so I just reply to that. So upgrading the rig will do two things. Number one, it will give you more resource points, and number two, it will give you a 
a it, it moves the needle in your um in your favor in the attack odds. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do the default credentials, and then if not, maybe we should start up upgrading our rig because we're once we get to seventy five turns, if we haven't got to the ICS, we fail, right? Yeah. Right, right now we're we're using a uh, like a Chromebook, you know, <laughs> to, as, as our as our unit. Come on, give me that DMZ. Oh, you pwned it. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so let's start pivoting from that because maybe we can start finding some things. So you want to do, do the classic three one? Yeah, yeah. Let's just do those and and then burn the turn. Ah! Oh, wait, we gotta do those fine public vulnerabilities. <laughs> <I forgot. laughs> Here we go. Tracks so covered. Tracks nice. Covered. Awesome. Didn't find anything, right? Yeah, we Nothing. didn't find anything. And the host scan failed, so we could do it again and hope for a better hope for a better um, roll. Yeah, that works. But I'm just going to say it, it'll take one of our things, and we won't be able to do attacks after that. So, um, but I, I really want to hammer on this thing, to be honest with you, because I feel like the ICS is behind it. Um. Yeah, let's uh, let's hammer away at that thing again. There's this whatever this is, data historian too. Okay, um, not to not to be all over the place, but what would you like to do, John? No, I I, I like your uh, your plan of attack. Let's go after that. Okay, what would and you like then, to do with the, the four? Yeah, let's go to action. And see what we can we can uh, do because we're we're quickly running out of time. Yeah. Oh. Um. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. So oh, so upgrading the rig does do quite a bit, but we should. I think maybe sniffing some network traffic actually would be good. Um, see if we can find some stuff because we have. I mean, if you look at the the points that we've compromised, they're all they route traffic. Yeah, that's true. So, um, I think it'd just be good and to do that. And then what was the? There was something else down there that might be good. Um recruit hackers so if we recruit hackers does that give us more action items or more yeah, action gives you more of these things i think yeah it gives you more resource points to spend well we're starting to run out of time so i think that might be good i know it's a it's an exhausting uh turn but we're starting but, to run out of time to where we might it might benefit us in the long run all right it is gonna take three turns and if we discover a, a vulnerable host we'll have to wait three turns to attack Oh yeah, you, that makes sense. Maybe we can always do the, the fine public vulnerabilities. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. I want to get a coffee mug that says "fine public vulnerabilities" on it. There we go. And every time you drink coffee, it makes that little chime. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so apparently, I'm. I'm. We're not going to do that again. Okay. I think we've exhausted the public vulnerabilities, and the host scan failed again. God. At least for the current hosts that you have discovered. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, John, um, we don't have enough uh, things here. So, let's see if our, our network. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is doing another network scan, but. Um, Where was that? Oh, we could evade network detection. Should have been doing that. So, I don't. I don't know where the network scan was. Host scan. Uh, well, is there anything we can host scan right now? Where can? I, oh, well, I guess. But we've already scan scanned. From. Right, right, right. We only scanned for. Well, did we do one from the VPN? Did we do one from the VPN? I don't remember. You did. We did. Yeah. Okay. Um. You know, the only thing, other thing I can think of is, I mean, I would recruit some folks, but it, it does take a long time. Clay, let me ask you this. This host scan that's failing, is this because the blue team has... Um, is it like a crappy host scan, or is it the blue team's doing something? I think that you have already found all of the hosts in that subnet. Okay, okay. Also, here's a just a usability um, uh, advice. So click on the DMZ Pi 2. The the that one. Click on that and look and see what it is. It says that it's a data historian. So now go to the wiki. Uh, That's yeah. the question mark. I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me pointing. Um, and click on assets. 
and data historian. Oh. oh, backup of ICS data information and transactions. So we should be able to find out information about at least about the ICS if we pwn that. All right. Yeah, yeah. And so that's that that is just a perfect example of how if you're not familiar with the systems specific to ICS, whatever, how you can use the game to figure out what it is. Okay. So now we should actually probably start pwning uh, servers because we haven't pwned any like anything else other than a routing device. Well, we we have to wait for our um, our action queue to clear so we can get our guys back. Yeah. So let's just go to the next turn then. All right. And hey, Clint, while we're while we're working on this, if if someone wanted to get this game, because we're seeing some people, um, you know, Casey didn't win, but definitely wants to get the game. You know, uh, what what's the best way for people to get the game? For the for for the game that you're looking at here, just for the fifteen dollar consumer version, um, just go to Steam, and that's that. Steam is the only place that's sold in the the game form. Just search for Threat Gen on Steam, and it'll pop right up. Um, if you guys want more bells and whistles, there's a pro version. Just in, just go to threatgen.com, um, and you can find out more info there. All right, and um, is there a was there a promo code or <laughs> did we do that? You know what? Um, I'm going to have to, I think <laughs> um, Robert and myself, I think we completely forgot to set up the promo code and we okay. meant to. So we'll, we'll do a postmortem one. We'll, we'll, you, we'll let you send out a promo code um, uh, and it will keep it active for like two weeks or something like that. Okay. And so we'll do that. It'll be like, it'll be like 20% off or something like that. Of Perfect. Yeah. So just stay connect with me on LinkedIn and I will publish, um, or I'll find out a way to do it. I'll probably do it through my YouTube channel. Uh, either way, we're going to have a promo code, okay? So you, you'll get a discount. Yeah, right, I apologize on. for that. It was it was a busy week. Yeah, no, it's understood. John, uh, John what do you want to do? Yeah, let's attack that uh, that guy right there. And then, um, well, dang. <laughs> uh, why don't we do a SQL injection see what happens? I can tell you the promo code will be simply cyber, okay. all caps. Uh, no spaces, all caps. I just have to get it set up. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay, cool. All right, so let's end our turn. Let's hope for the best. Clint, thank you for uh, for giving the discount to our, our consumer base here, our the community, the Simply Cyber community. God dang. The DMZ failed again. I mean, the well, Artax, Artax failed. Well, let's try dealing with like Mandiance on site here. Okay, let's, let's do another one. We did a SQL injection, so let's do uh, the other one with an asterisk next to it. It was um, command injection. Yeah, you've got two asterisks there. I think. Did you or no? Did you? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did yeah. SQL no, injection just, last oh, time. And you just have one though. Yeah, it you feel bad because SQL injection is the one that I like spazzed on and got. I was hoping that it would pay some dividends. Um, that's now it's burned. Yep, there you go. Dude, popping boxes. Feels good. All right, uh, what is this? Windows server? All right, so you want to just... Hold on. We well, gotta, you got the hidden things. There's th there's something up there. Yeah, there's some weird... What the heck? Embedded device. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. And Windows... Oh, my gosh. All right, and these are all off of this. This they're associated with this guy. Oh, 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 oh yeah, because this guy knew about them. Okay, um, so we have to find vulnerabilities first, right? Is that uh, done through? No, we have to do. We have to do host scan, port scans on them. I know, but the options aren't available right now. Uh, what? It says no. If you click click on it, yeah, it says no pivot established to this asset. So you know about them from the data, the Pi server, but oh. you don't actually have a pivot to them. So we have to uh, figure out, oh, so that means, oh, I get oh, it. Oh, that's so infuriating. It, um, well, I guess you want to take on, what's this? Uh, well, that means that we need to go pwn the uh, firewall of the DMZ. Okay. Right, because I would assume, well, look, hold on. 166, what's the uh, IP address of those other devices? Uh, oh, 141, what? Four one six 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 nine one nine one. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is. Huh? 
We've already pwned that. No, I know. I was just looking at the 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 VIP schema. There's one six six, but so what? Ha can can you, uh, well, we don't have enough time. We're not a lot well, of time. No, you keep good notes when you're doing pen testing too. Like. <laughs> and if you don't keep notes, you learn to keep good notes. Yeah. Um, so I would say I'd either go after that DMZ or go after maybe like the mail server to see like what we could find. Because if we can okay. pwn that mail server, ready? Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> uh <laughs> we don't own any of these. That sucks. Yeah, so it's kind of like a shot in the dark. Um, I would say outdated software. Here we go. Then turn red. Dang. What about uh, the, the the seam? Maybe we, let's attack the seam because it's got that shield on it, which means we got a vulnerability that we can. Yeah. That it, no, no, it, no. So wait, go back to the sim real quick. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, it has a shield. I thought you meant the actual sim shield. That's just. Oh yeah. Know, no. just, yeah. Yeah. So, because we did research on the heap overflow, so let's go ahead and do that. You want to do denial? No. Well, oh, yeah, because if we can, well. If you blind the sim, then that'll keep them from yeah, knowing about other compromises. But what if we compromise? So, if we do a denial, do we still get access to it or no? If you, if, if you gain control of the sim, then I think you'll know about all the other IDS devices that are out there. Mm -hmm. So it depends on if you just want to blind them or if you want more info. I mean, we haven't really gotten detected. Yeah, they haven't been really effective at getting rid of us. That's what I've noticed too. So I don't know, I what, just... I don't know what the blue team's doing. <laughs> Do you want to try to manipulate it? Uh, Smita says, uh, or is it Smita? Smita? They say DDoS. Wow, let's go. Why don't we do DDoS? Let's see what happens if we kill it. You want to kill it? Let's 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 knock it out. Going for the Colonel, the Gibson. Oh, and it's down. Kill, kill the Gibson. <laughs> it worked. It's down. They're definitely going to be doing something now, right? You want to try yeah. the DC, John? Yeah, let's go after the DC. Let's see if we can get some DA. Uh, so just FYI, so if you own an Active Directory server, what it's going to give you is... Um, any credential-based attacks moving forward are going to be almost guaranteed. Nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's good to know. So let's go ahead and do... Uh, let's do Stack Overflow. Yeah, the only thing that I think will nope. bring that chance down is if they've already implemented strong password policies. But it still makes it a pretty high effective uh, chance. <laughs> that didn't work. We can uh, we can try to take on some of these uh, this router, corporate router, corporate Wi-Fi, or we could take on Bow Dungeon's uh, you know remote access thing. Well, and here's the thing, uh, and one thing you should know, and, and you would know this if you do more reading in the wiki, which I'll I'll be your wiki. Um, so if you have a VPN installed. You can be sure now that all the remote users are being routed into that DMZ. So they're not before the VPN was installed, those remote users could have been in any other network. But now you know they're in the DMZ. So you don't need to compromise the remote users at this point. Okay. All right, John, what do you want to do? Let's uh Let's, uh, I mean, if we, eh. I know it's brutal. What do you think? I'd like to take over the member server. Okay, let's go. I mean, this terminal server, I feel like, um, oh, we don't have any of these. Um, it, it's so much better when we have like knowledge research to improve our role. I would say if you want to take over that terminal server, if you, what you, what that's going to yield is, Think about Ryuk. 
the the if you know and if you've heard about the 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 malware as it affected oil and gas systems and things like that industrial sectors riot was targeting terminal servers mm. okay um a lot of a lot of things we can attack especially since they don't have sim right now yeah so let's you know uh i don't know that the 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 DMZ also prim I don't want to attack more <laughs> networking devices. So let's go after the ter the terminal server. Let's see what happens. Which attack do you want? Mm, let's do outdated AV. Okay. And then I'm manipulating. Hopeful, maybe. Did we pwn we pwned it? Ooh. Diesel. Wow, that was old. <laughs> If it available, all right. So oh, look at there! Look at what we found. You know what Ooh. that is? Well, let's. Uh, what's the information on it? Ooh! Wow! Harvest right. some credentials. Pell for data. Man, look at all that. How about? Do you want to cover? Oh, our so the um, the label is off. It's the engineering workstation. The label is a little tiny. Oh, okay. Um, uh, go to your actions real quick. Whoops. Keep scrolling over. Wait, go. Um, or I'm sorry, go to the first column. Yes. Scroll down. Um, wait, go back up. <clears throat> where is it? Where is it at? There is a. At this point, you should scroll down real quick. Where is it? Where is it? Go slow. Uh, okay. So yeah, you you can't damage the ICS process yet, but now that you have the engineering workstation, you're close. Okay, okay. so let's start. Let's start hammering down on that workstation. Yeah, can we cover our tracks first just so we don't yeah. lose it? So also, real quick, so um, and again, this is wiki knowledge. Start looking at those um, uh, those devices that you don't know what they are yet, like the embedded devices and whatnot that you didn't have a pivot to before. That engineering workstation should give you pivots to... Ooh. Do you want to spend our two credits on these guys then? Yeah. John, let's do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll get some loot. We got what twenty turns left. All oh, right, we're getting here some, we go. I see some new things popping up. Delta so there's AV. The, there's, I assume that's like the whatever, like the central Ooh. AV server. Here's another data historian. It's. Oh, I guess they're just re, uh, duplicates. What the hell what is, is this thing? Oh, yeah. There you go. That's a PLC. So you have PLCs and they're owned because you have the engineering workstation. Look at look at your options on the PLC. Oops. Um, this is a PLC. Damage it. There we go. Ready? Yeah, let's go. This is Tyler Durden work right here. This is Stuxnet work. <laughs> That's what it was. No, started. you didn't use you didn't use the USB. Look See, though, what's interesting is that the blue team outscored you, but you damaged the ICS, so it doesn't matter about the score, doesn't matter. You can look at the results. Somebody was asking earlier if you could see the results. You can look at the results and you can look at the action log and see everything that the blue team did. They were owned and they knew it. Oh, man. Look at these pump jacks on fire. Oh, we can't even <laughs> feel good about ourselves going to bed tonight because of that. <laughs> So what? That's crazy. So what happens if you do view other team? Does it actually like start? Put, does it put? It, I know it's going to show ours. It'll just, actually, yeah, just show yours. No, uh, it doesn't put them side by side. Okay. We are working on the. Uh, so when we release one point six, the end game screen is going to have a lot more information, kind of like how much the incident costs. Um, mm -hmm. It'll do a side by side comparison. There'll, there'll be a lot more information. There, obviously, face explosions. A blue teamer taking credit. Uh, the the the. Uh... Taking credit for the points. I love it. Do so, I, who's, who said that? Uh, so we... Uh, said we got more points. What's interesting <laughs> is we... DOS, factory blew up. <laughs> it's so interesting if you look at it, because I'm looking at like the attack path of how we got to there, and it's all over the place of how we rounded into there. 
Like yeah. we didn't even find the uh, the the ICS firewall. No. So what you did? Well, you did. So no, you didn't. But what the attack path you took is you ended up compromising um, the VPN, which become you know, hey, it's a security feature, but it's also another attack surface. Yep. When you compromise that. And you got the terminal server, the terminal server, they didn't have RDP lockdown or apparently or, or that lockdown. So when you got the terminal server, that gave you the engineering workstations, uh, which gave you the PLC. So um, they had some glaring holes there in their their remote configuration. How did the network change, uh, Clint, uh, from, from uh, game to game? So a great question, because right now, um, and this is the very last version, the very last update where you're going to be using the exact same network every time, um, kind of like playing Risk, right? The world map is the world map. However, in the next update, which is coming very soon, it's another major update in a couple of weeks, version 1.6, there are new levels, new networks. You can choose, ran you can have it chosen randomly or um, you can... Uh, pick a network, but there's going to be several new networks and new environments, and then we'll have a lot of new DLC based on that coming out, uh, some free and some paid. Awesome. Yeah, so that's going to do it. I, I had an awesome time. Thank you. We had a steady crew in here uh, playing the game with us. John, uh, OSCP, proving your street cred by blowing up an oil uh, factory. Really appreciate it. Uh, Clint, thank you uh, on behalf of ThreatGen and, and the whole platform for the licenses. Congratulations to our winners. I will c contact you directly through uh, Discord with your license keys. Um, what's the finger? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not giving you the finger. Um, we, yeah. we we do have the the Simply Cyber keyword uh, for the discount. If you enter the promo code Simply Cyber, um, I think we set up a 40% discount. Oh, wow. All right. Well, thank you. Um, thank you, Clint. So that's probably time time boxed, right? Maybe a couple weeks or something. Uh, seven days. Uh, seven we can days. Make it for guys, if, if you want, if you, if you didn't win one of the licenses, but you want to play this game, I'm telling you, it's an excellent game, both for fun and for educational value. Like there is a lot of um, just excellent material in here for you to absorb and learn either the blue side or the red side. Uh, you know, we played the blue side before a couple of months ago. Um, so definitely check it out. It's, you know, it's a couple bucks and it's really well done. Clint, congratulations to you and your team for putting this great Thank product you. together. And thanks for being uh, with us today. And, and again, John, thanks so much. And thank fun. you to all of you. So yeah, good, 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 good game, I guess. GG, right? <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. I was hoping you would. So good job. <laughs> all right. Cheers, everybody. And until next time, stay secure. Where's my, I got to do my little thing. Hold on. I got a thing here. There it is.